Hey, what's going on YouTube? My name is James and welcome back to another video. So today we're going to be doing an unboxing and first impressions of an Alpha. So I did a review of an Alpha a while back, the Alpha Submariner. Go check it out if you haven't already. And I decided to pick up another Alpha. For those of you who don't know who Alpha are, they are a a watch company that pretty much produce homage watches and they have done since like the very early 90s if I'm not mistaken and homage watches are pretty much a touchy subject here on YouTube but I would say this homage watch is what I'm gonna call an acceptable homage and you'll see why in a minute when we get into it although it already probably says in the title so I'm just gonna say it. it's the Alpha Daytona Paul Newman um, for those of you that don't know, I went to Salon QP and I actually tried on the Alpha Paul Newman, uh, the, the Rolex Paul Newman, sorry, the real one, and it was just, the looks and everything was beautiful. The build quality, not so much, but then again, it is late 60s, early 70s, so that's to be expected. But just the look of it was absolutely beautiful. Like, I really, really wanted something that looked like it. And I looked into the market and everything for an original design that was kind of similar, but there wasn't really anything. So I thought, you know what, let's just go for a true homage. And the two companies that stand out when it comes to a homage for this watch is Alpha and Steinhardt. Now the price difference is ridiculous. Um, on one side with the Alpha, you've got about, if you go in new, probably around a hundred and something. Uh, if you go in second hand, probably around a hundred. Um, and then with Steinhardt, new, you're looking at about 900 euros. I don't know how much second hand, but that's that's pretty extreme. Also, the proportions of the Steinhardt aren't really true to what it was. I'm not saying the Alpha is. I'm saying it's a bit more true to what it is. So with that all being said, let's change perspectives and get into the unboxing. Okay, so here we are. This actually came from Lithuania, so I've been waiting a little while. I'll say, I'll say five working days. That seems what it's been like. And this was actually bought from watchalpha.eu. So I did buy this brand new, um, but I bought it off their eBay page. And the reason I did that is because I've actually heard bad things about Alpha and their customer service and everything like this. So I thought I'd order through their eBay and see, see what happens. And I have to say, I am impressed with their customer service so far. They, they've been very, very helpful. There was a point where they put the tracking code and it wouldn't work on the Royal Mail. Um, it, wouldn't, it just said the tracking code was wrong. So I emailed them and asked them what's going on with that. You know, um, is there anything I need to be doing? Like any website I need to be looking at on? They, uh, they replied literally immediately, like, very sorry about this. And they gave me all the links and everything. And it, it worked. It worked fine. They says, if I need anything else, give them, give them a shout. So they were really nice about it and um, pretty, pretty helpful, to be honest, which is good. Now, obviously, the thing that rings true each time, apparently, with Alphas is when they break, um, which is apparently quite often. I don't know, my, the Alpha Submariner had ran completely fine, I'm hoping this will do the same, but um, if it doesn't, obviously I'll go through that process with you guys on video and show you how, how it went, um, because I want to be honest, I want to be honest with this, but anyway, wristwatch check, I am wearing this little beauty, this is a new Timex that I actually acquired, look at the patina on the minute hand, it's literally gone, um, 25 meters dive in Timex, really, really cool, expect a video on this at some point, but anyway, let's get into this, I'm so excited. Okay, so it comes in this like green felt thing, Alpha 1993. That's when they was established. This feels quite nice. It's like a almost a suede. Um, let's have a look. What's in here? Guarantee card. I'm gonna have a look at this one second. Okay, so it comes with the guarantee card. Um, everything's actually been signed on this correctly, which um, is pretty cool. I've heard a lot of people say, "Oh, when you buy from Alpha, they don't sign the stuff and all this." This is completely signed. Everything on here is signed, which is uh, which is cool. And it comes with this little. Uh, thing on how to use the chronograph so yeah that's pretty cool so it does come with these things um i, I even had reports that some people didn't even get a guarantee card so um so far so good so let's open this up i'm literally so excited oh oh my god oh wow <laughs> it's literally this is really really cool Ah, oh, look at what it's got all the plastic on and everything. So this is the one I went with, not the true Paul Newman. Um, the true Paul Newman had the silver bezel. I much preferred the look of the black bezel. Oh, look at that domed acrylic. Oh my God. So there will be a full review on this down the road. Um, so keep an eye out for that. If you want my honest opinion on this. Let's, let's open this up. <laughs> look at that. Look at that dial, guys. That is literally what i wanted to take all the plastic off okay so there we go i've taken off all the plastic and uh yeah this is a manual wine movement it's using a seagull i think it was an sg something like i said in the full review i'll get into it, it does have an exhibition case back where you can see a pretty nicely decorated movement if i'm completely honest it is an alpha signed clasp um which is terrible <laughs> and the bracelet feels terrible as well um 
But that's to be expected with Alpha, in my opinion. You know, then they're, they're not known for having great bracelets. But the truth is in the pudding. Let's uh, let's give this a wind. Oh, I think it's got plastic around the bezel. Oh, I forgot to take off. Cool. I'll take that off in a minute. But um, got to unscrew the crown. And I've heard terrible things about this crown, so that's something I'm definitely gonna give you my opinion on um, in time. That's a satisfying wound. Wind. Wound. Very satisfying wind, to be to be honest. And there it goes. It is now ticking away. So, uh, the way this one works is obviously it's a chronograph. It has continuous seconds over here, 24 hour indicator over here, which on the real Paul Newman is a 12 hour totalizer. Um, but on here it's a 24 hour. Because obviously for this kind of price, I don't know if you can expect... Um, I don't think you can expect a 12 hour totalizer chron manual chronograph for this kind of price, but that's just me. I'm sure a lot of people will say that's ridiculous, but yeah. Um, also, it's got a 30 minute totalizer here for the actual chronograph itself. Um, it looks very, very nice. Like I've handled the real Daytona and I have to say um, this, this looks good. This looks very good. So it is screw down pushes as well for the chronograph. Um, so let's give that a go. Let me just try and screw in the crown and see if I get what people are saying about. So, the complaints I hear about the crown is getting the thread. Um, yeah, I get it. Yeah, that, that's that's dreadful. It's trying to get that thread. There we go. Um, so, it's pretty difficult to catch the thread to like screw the crown back in. Um, but I do have similar problems to this. Like, not as bad as that. But similar problems with my SKX. I don't know if you guys have that same problem, but with my SKX, I've, it, the threading's pretty terrible. Um, but let's give the chronograph a go and see how this one goes. You ready? Oh, that's a satisfying click. And then off it goes. This is my first manual chronograph as well. So you can see the movement um, inside chugging away. That's cool. That is very, very cool. All right, let's stop. So in terms of lighting, by the way, guys, I just want to quickly mention this. Um, the lighting is terrible and it will be terrible probably throughout the most of winter. For those of you that don't know, it gets like dark really early here in the UK. And when it's winter, it's just clouded over 24-7. So um, there's no chance really for us to, to do anything like that. So let's go. Pause and restart. That's that's a snap. That's a snap and a half. All right, then let's... Uh, Let's try it on. Just real quickly before we try it on, I want to give you a close-up of this Timex. How cool is that? <laughs> it's such a cool little watch. It's from 972 as well. That's awesome. Anyway, now let's put this on and see what it looks like on the wrist. I don't know how many I'm going to have to take out. Oh, not many. They don't give you much play for, for a bracelet then. Yeah, they, they don't give you much play for a bracelet. All right, and there it is on my wrist. Six and three quarter inch. So I'd say if you got about, I don't know, I don't know how much bigger that would be, but yeah, I've got six and a three quarter inch wrists. Not not big wrists, not small wrists. I don't know. Well, I think they are considered small, but there we go. There it is on my wrist. That looks absolutely ace. It's not overly thick as well, which is good. Yeah, this looks brilliant. I can't wait to take the links out and have it fit nicely. Um, it is screw down links as well. There you go, screw down links, as you can see right there. But overall, first impressions, I'm very happy with it. Like I said, the bracelet is terrible. That clasp is just, it's, <laughs> it's dreadful, really. That is absolutely god awful. Um, and the crown is dreadful as well. But in terms of looks, it looks ace, and I'm so happy with it. Um, so yeah, I hope you enjoyed this first impressions. I will give you a full review um down the down the road so definitely subscribe for that and i'll see you all in the next video guys thank you for watching take care and peace out